How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Sonic Adventure DX, where today we're killing monkeys! Well, mechanical monkeys, so he didn't feel a thing. Don't sue me, Peta. But, uh, yeah, anyway, we are tackling Sonic's 7th stage, Red Mountain. Now that we have the ancient lights, we can get rid of that monkey guard. Is this cutscene really necessary to just show off engine noise? I mean, I suppose it gives you a good view of what's to come in the stage, but, yeah. Well, anyway, this is my favorite iteration of Red Mountain, and one of my favorite stages in the game, to be honest with you, because... As you can see from this, there are so many different branching paths on this stage that, um, and there's so many different ways you can approach the stage because you, c you can go all these different directions in order to actually get through. It's just a lot of fun to find different ways to go than the last time you were playing, and yeah, um, it's pretty cool. I really like how they made like kind of like branching paths. Not really branching because they all end up going in the same place anyway, but uh, basically like alternate routes through this whole entire stage. It's helpful. Um, for the speedruns as well, which, uh, don't know when we'll be getting to those. We'll be getting to those a little later, probably. But, um, yes, so Red Mountain definitely is one of my, even though I said, you know, oh, well, Knuckles' thing of it is my least favorite iteration of it, but I mean, like, it's got zip lining, man. How can you go wrong when a stage has zip lining? It's it. I really like Red Mountain, at least this iteration and, um, the other character that plays here, their iteration of the level as well is pretty cool. Um, we'll get to those stages in a little while, but, uh, as far as, uh, Knuckles' stage of this goes, it wasn't too bad. Like, like I said, um, I think it was last video. Um, when I say, oh, well, it's my least favorite iteration, it doesn't by any means mean the stage is bad. It just, you know, sometimes I feel like they could have implemented it a little bit better, like I think for this level, and it just, uh, I don't know. I really don't have too many complaints, though. It's really hard to make any you know, complaints about it when the levels are pretty good as it is, so. And this little part over here, you can skip by jumping over this, uh, that little railing there. Probably not safe, or what the people who made the railing were thinking of doing when they did that, but you can skip through that section and I totally failed at that, uh, extra life. Should have seen that as an, uh, as a sign of things to come, because then I tried to get fancy over here, and I didn't give myself enough clearance to press the jump button, and, uh, I got cocky. But, uh, yeah. Whatever. It's kind of weird, looking at my time that I have on the clock right now for, uh, this stage, considering... Uh, actually, I should probably, uh, save that for a little bit later. See Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations? I can do quick steps without the L1 and R1 buttons going down a straight road. It's not that hard to have a little dexterity on the control stick. Jeez. I'm just teasing. I just think that... Straight sections of road, I mean, you know, it helps to show sonic speed, but if all I'm doing is tapping the L1 and R button, I'm gonna get bored after, you know, the fourth or fifth stage with quick steps in it. Uh, but as for the music of Red Mountain, it's, um, as you can probably tell if you've, uh, looked at my sights and sounds list, I have Red Mountain's theme in my list. Uh, the first one at least. I really like both of the themes in there, but I think the first one kind of defines the, uh, a little bit more adventure. I suppose you could say, then the second one. The second one, I really like the bass guitar in the background of this song. You should probably look it up. I think it's called Red Mountain 2. Uh, it's a pretty good song. I really like it. If the bats would ever stop swirling in the background to uh, get rid of the bass guitar. Something else you got to watch out for in this level is that the lava rises up uh, out of the... Uh, well, it rises up, basically, as, the, as you progress with the stage. So you got to be a little careful of that, because... If you stand on a platform for too long, it's pretty easy for the lava to, uh, raise up and overwhelm you. It's kind of bad. And I see they've imprisoned the fighting polygon team here for shenanigans. That's just great. Honestly, it'd be more like the fighting wireframes, because after the cruel, after cruel melee mode and Super Smash Bros. melee, I'm not surprised they imprisoned those bastards. Well, anyway. Are those coffins, or they're dancing? Well, I would under I understand why. This music's pretty kick-ass, so... Even the dead are dancing to the music! So that's pretty cool. Oh, man. Lots of rings. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need all the rings we can get, and I got cocky again in this part, as you will see in just a second. We're gonna need as many rings as we can get. I don't know why I jumped into that. Don't ask me. I was feeling really in a weird mode at this mood at this point. I think at this point I had actually been playing Big's game 
before that before I recorded this part of Sonic Story when I was doing the recording. So I wasn't used to playing Sonic at this point, so if my uh, gameplay was a little bit weird there. Well, don't worry, it'll get a little better. I just need a little bit of time. Apparently I need a little bit of time to sleep too because Jesus Christ. Crap. It got past the mountains. Well shoot, now what the hell am I supposed to do? That time you showed up, Tails. Jeez, what'd you do? Take it for like a night long test run or something? Why didn't you break the capsule? The developers forgot to put in an animation for a capsule broken thing for this cutscene. So it's not my fault. Chasing after the egg carrier. Meanwhile, on board the egg carrier. As you can see, the reason why Gamma wasn't responding when Knuckles was following him back to the base and when Big was screaming at him back on Emerald Coast, it's because he was in the flashback the whole time and it was auto walking him back to the base, even though he had no idea that he was doing so. Ah, dummies, 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 dummies! None of you got the right one! Chaos's tail? Well, I guess that would explain why Froggy has a tail, and those ones don't. Oh, nice job, Gamma. Maybe you'll get a promotion. Wait, what? Oh my god! He just hit the eject button on them. We're out in the middle of the ocean, man. You will get a new assignment. This one's easy. Go to the room through that last door. Once there, you'll find a girl and a bird. Just get me that bird! I guess they are holding Amy hostage right now. Oh boy, this couldn't end well. Is this the one? Yeah, that rotating platform in the middle of the three doors there, probably not the best design choice, Eggman, I'm just saying. Spare parts. Wait a minute. Those couldn't be... Wow, Doctor's kind of a douche, isn't he? <laughs> totally just ejected half of his, three quarters of his staff out into the sea, and now he's killed Beta and, well, not killed, he just tore him apart and now he's replacing him essentially with a better version. I guess that could be alright, but just the thought of him taking him apart is kind of gruesome to think about. At least for Gamma, because he's a robot, you know, so he can kind of relate a little better than we can to robot massacre, I suppose. But now we're chasing after the egg carrier and Tails' new plane for Sky Chase Act 2. Uh, there isn't really too much to say about Sky Chase Act 2. It's pretty similar to Sky Chase Act 1 in that you're still shooting down all of Eggman's uh, crazy ships, which are piloted by, I guess, the rest of his robot crew that he ejected out into space. 
Um, you'll want to kind of focus a little on that top right corner there because there's a bunch of rotating spike platforms on the bottom of the ship there. And, uh, well, if you don't get rid of them now, they can be a little bit annoying later when you're actually flying underneath the ship there. So, might be a good idea to get rid of them. So anyway, um, I just wanted to say that uh, my original thought that the bonus episode would take a little longer than usual, not really all that true anymore because uh, basically last night what I was doing, instead of doing the commentary for this episode, which I'm doing pretty much right before I render it out and upload it today, it's, uh, sorry that they've been late for the past couple of days, I've been a little bit uh, busy, but I'm not giving up, not at all, anyway. Oh, well that would explain why Tails' plane, new plane is better than the old one, but because he actually has a transformation for it. Though how that really helps us, I don't know. We still play the same as how we did when we were... Uh, see, there's the spike platforms. We still play the same as we did before, although now I think we get uh, more multiplied points when we're shooting stuff down. Don't ask me how I'm absorbing those missiles. I have no idea. They just kind of randomly lost their hit detection before they hit me or something. I don't know. But yeah, um... The, uh, as for all of the trial missions that I've been doing to get all 130 emblems, I actually went ahead and instead of doing the commentary last night, I was actually doing that stuff. I was grinding out all of the emblems. And I actually got it so that I'm only missing the three Adventure Field emblems that I... Oh, God, hang on. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I think I just like yawning when I'm on the mic because I'm not taking a drink of water. Anyway, um, I'm only missing the three Adventure Field uh, emblems that I don't get on screen during the playthrough, and the five Chow Garden emblems that you can get. So uh, we'll be getting those in bonus episodes. Yes, plural bonus episodes. I'll be doing more than one for this series. Got a bunch of ideas for this series, but um, yeah. So I've got. I actually went from the uh, amount that you have at the end of the main campaign here all the way up to 122, which is quite a bit of emblems to be getting all in one night. But that was what I was mainly doing. So for this part, this is the only part where the manual firing of the uh, tornado is actually pretty viable because as long as you're shooting in front of you, the manual cannon will take out all the missiles because they're aimed for you, and the egg carrier's core, which is right in the center of the screen, is pretty easy to destroy that way. And you can get a lot of points racked up by uh, shooting it. Well, you could shoot it automatically too, but it takes longer, and shooting it manually is just more fun, I think. It takes less time too. Oh, and like I, I said before, I think that it was a mini-game, the uh, Sky Chase stuff that you need to get two emblems in. Turns out that's not the case, so don't worry about it. Oh, well that wasn't so bad at all. I don't know what you were worried about, Tails. Wow! This thing is really huge! Oh god. Just just no comment. No, no comment on that. We need to find Amy. You're right, my friend. So here we go. Get used to Sonic giving us the middle finger pose without actually giving us the middle finger. He'll be doing that a lot on the egg carrier here for some weird reason. Well, anyway, maybe this is the engine of the ship. Hmm. <laughs> what? Oh. What do you mean after the transformation? Ah, screw it. I'm sure it's not that bad. Well Don't get too many ideas, you fools. You haven't seen the power this vessel really has. Get a load of this. <laughs> Uh, again, no comment. Just keep going, please. At least now it looks more like a ship. Oh wow! It's changed shape. Did you see that? Darn! This makes it harder for us to get to the bridge. I hate it when he doesn't listen. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting this. The only way you can get to me is through the sky deck. 
find out if you can figure this one Well, you just gave us the solution, though. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to go to the sky deck. But before we do that, I actually do want to use the cannon up here because, uh... Well, I'll use this one to get back to the other one. I think some of the cannons can actually shoot you directly off the ship. So you might want to be careful. The only one you want to hit is that one right near the uh, landing area. Because there's an emblem inside that box right there. A field emblem. So, that's cool. Uh, okay, I guess now we can uh, head to the sky deck. What does this say? Oh, how convenient. He left the door open for us. This must be the way to the sky deck. Well, yeah, that's what the computer just said, Sonic. So anyway, Sonic and Tails have infiltrated the egg carrier, but uh, elsewhere on the ship, it seems that another character has slipped in relatively undetected. Now we'll see who's so easily tricked. I can sense that the emeralds are here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we just have to find them, Knuckles. What else is new? We've been doing that in your game for 45 minutes now. I thought there was something back here, because I remember going back here for something uh, uh, in the original Sonic Adventure. I don't recall why. But I remember doing that in the Dreamcast version. I don't know if there was something back there in that one, or if I just did that for no apparent reason, but I went back there anyway. And there was nothing. Yeah, there wasn't really a kosher way that I could cut out that second transformation thing, but, uh, eh, it doesn't take that long. So anyway, you can glitch through the floor right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's intentional or what, but, uh, we're gonna go inside of here and, uh, hey, look, we found the doctor's study room! Yeah, it's, this is one of those things that, like, they added in as an afterthought just to kind of make it like, oh, well, now this is not only his ship as, like, a means of, like, you know, traveling around. This is his base of operations, man. He's gonna be up there all the time. I mean, he's got he's got everything in here, including a field emblem, apparently. He's got a bed, he's got books to study, he's got a fridge. Man, he's stocked in here, so... I just think it's pretty funny that uh, they actually added this stuff in. It's, it's kind of like, uh... Oh, by the way, remember this Trail of Rings for later. We'll be using it at some point. I just think it's funny that they added this, uh, you know, like an actual, like, a little room for him. Because it's like, you get into a developer's room in, like, an, another game, and it's like, you don't know what'll happen, but it'll usually be pretty hilarious. Like this room. Eggman's playroom, I suppose you could call it. It's got, like, you know, slot machines and crazy planes and everything. And if you get in the free camera, you can actually rotate the camera a little bit. It's kind of difficult when you're sitting in the seat, but there's these little crazy kitty rides that they have at grocery stores where you pop a quarter in and then they rock back and forth like that. This is just great. I, lo I love this part of the egg carrier. It's so... It's, it's a cool little addition. It kind of gives you a little bit of like an insider to the doctor's mind. That he's really a child at heart and he's totally misunderstood. He just wants to be an evil genius after all. Woe is he. Not really. Let's turn the auto camera back on. But yeah, it's a cool little addition, and I like it. Kind of gives you more of a... It, basically, it makes him feel a little bit more human, which makes the Doctor a little bit more relatable, even though he's a cold-hearted bastard. But, you know. I don't think we can go in the store. Nope. And then there's this part right here. I thought you could glitch through the floor here, but as it turns out, I was wrong, because I couldn't go up any farther there. So after about five or ten minutes of effing about, I managed to uh, get on top of here. It, it's a lot more difficult than it looks, believe me, but uh, I got the third field emblem there. With the free camera's help again. Love that free camera in this version of the game. It's really helpful, believe it or not, at least for the egg carrier anyway. And now for the third and final little room of Eggman's that kind of makes him more uh, relatable. He has a swimming pool. It's, it's really, and it has a diving board and everything. And something, um, another commentator that actually inspired me to do this playthrough came up with is that it's kind of cool that he has this. By the way, there's your fourth and fi final field emblem for this area. All four of them in one video, so there you go. Some, uh, he came up with the fact that the fact that Eggman can swim and Sonic can't, that makes them even more mortal enemies. So that's cool. I sense the Master Emerald. It can't be far from here. 
so yeah, I mean, it would make sense that he has a swimming pool, because if he can swim and Sonic can't, it would be even more, make it even more sense that they're mortal enemies. But apparently, everything that our heroes are looking for is inside of the Sky Deck, but will they be able to make it through there intact? And what will happen when Ga Gamma interrogates Amy? Will Beta be on his mind forever? Find out in the next episode of Sonic Adventure DX. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Take care.